Hi there. It's time for the Yo Take Show. It's time for you to ask your questions. It's time for us to talk about nutrition. Thank you so much for joining us on the show today. This is the Yo Take Show. My name is Amanda. Let's get into the show. Looking at our food throne, we have a bird that I want us to discuss. It's very common in Uganda, so it's important that we discuss it. People eat it. It's called nkofu in the local language. But in English, it's called a fowl. So it's eaten and that means we should be discussing its nutritive value. What do you get out of these birds anyway? And you will be very, very excited to know that Inkof is very nutritious, especially if you're a bodybuilder, especially if you're trying to gain body muscle and, you know, just tone your muscles. Inkof is very important uh, because it's going to provide you with very good uh, amounts of protein. It's going to give you cholesterol. It's going to give you some fat. It's also going to give you calcium, which is particularly important for your bones, but also your muscles as well. And then there is vitamin B12 and B6 that it's also very rich in. So if you see all the nutrients that we have just discussed above, these are very, very helpful for your muscle tone, your uh, exercise endurance, just to make sure that, you know, your physical form is actually top notch. You are strong, you actually look fit, and you actually are fit, not just looking it, but you actually are fit. So if you're looking to have healthier muscles, please run to Nkofu, run to the fall. It's a very important food. The discussion room is what we are doing right now. We are just looking at the lessons, very, very important lessons that we can learn from. You know, the also very important questions that you are asking. That means you also need to ask your question if you haven't asked. That means you also need to give in your feedback if you haven't yet done that. And you can do that by just connecting with us on our social media platforms. The first being on WhatsApp, that's the, on the number 0782152610. Let me repeat that for you. 0782152610. And then on Instagram, my handle is food witness on facebook there's a very, uh, very vibrant facebook page um, the name is amanda Twe was a dash nutritionist and also i do a lot of health content that i do post down on um, youtube so head down there and also you know follow the content binge watch subscribe as well join the family uh, the paid the channel name is amanda Twe was a dash nutritionist now that we're done with that let's get into our first question coming in from peter peter says i have a problem of too much gas it happens frequently. I expel a lot of gas per day. What can I do? So gas can also be, you know, it could also be a sign of you having a food intolerance, like you are intolerant to a particular food or you probably are allergic to a particular food and you don't even know it. So you might want to, you know, just start keeping a diary so that you understand after which foods exactly do I get this kind of gas? When is it more? And what do I eat frequently? Maybe that's what's bringing on this kind of gas and making me you know, be intolerant to this particular food. So it could be also a sign of intolerance. It's not just that, you know, I have gas, I have gas. So look into that as well. But on the Facebook page, we'll talk about this uh, even more, maybe uh, more of the causes of this kind of gas. Second question is coming in from so many people. It's such a, a, a blower. It's coming in from Ahabwe, it's coming in from Shanishan, it's coming in from Humaira. And the question is, what foods can I use? To stop pimples and black spots on the body it's going to be very important to have foods that have antimicrobial properties you know so they are fighting germs you know they are fighting um, uh, bacteria that may be causing this you know inflammation that is actually popping out as you know the pimples and also may even to make it worse the black spots so you want to have things that work against you know the bacteria that make uh, skin health worse um, so look out for those particular foods, you know, that are uh, antibacterial like ginger. If you even notice that, you know, on soaps that they usually provide for our skin, their selling point is usually, or bathing soap, their selling point is usually uh, antibacterial soap. Because that is very important for your skin to clean it and, you know, just get rid of any toxic material, toxic organisms on your skin. But in terms of food, you might want to look at things like garlic, you know, look at things like very bright colored foods, you know, like chili as well, you know, like turmeric, those are really uh, good ones. And also before you put anything on your skin, please do a patch test, you know, maybe do it on another part of your, of your body so that you see how your body reacts to it. And then you can either use it or not use it and try something else. Shadrach is asking, what is the main cause of ulcers? 
Well, ulcers is definitely a connection with food and your gut lining. You know, your gut lining is not healthy at that point in time. So it's also a very, very big um, a disease that's connected to your lifestyle. That means, you know, how stressed are you? How is it affecting how you metabolize food? And ultimately, what is actually happening on your gut lining? Uh, how, how frequently are you eating food or how frequently are you starving yourself? You know, um, is the food you're eating actually clean or is it infected with H. pylori, you know? So it's a lifestyle disease. How clean are you with your food? How, how, how safe is your food, in other words? Um, how stressed are you and what are your stress management, um, you know, mechanisms? Um, how frequently are you eating, like we said? So really, you need to be watching out what are your daily habits? especially when it comes to food how do you treat food and then you'll find you know there's probably something that you could change or you know something that uh, you need to improve on to make sure that you know ulcers are a thing of the past or you actually get to manage them ray roy comes in uh, at number four pateka saying i am trying to grow fat but i have failed any advice so when you're trying to lose weight or utilize your food or maintain your weight we usually say you know eat your food slowly because then you're able to actually register when you're satisfied when the food is enough and you end up not overeating but at this point we want you to eat more than you are eating so you're going to have to try and increase your speed of eating you know eat a bit more quicker that doesn't mean become such a, a road runner when it comes to food on your plate because at the end of the day you will also get some other problems like you might get bloating and gas you might get you know reflux uh, because of that so you might want to make sure that yes you are eating you know quickly but not too speedily as well because that would help you eating a bit more and you'll find that it's helping you to actually gain some weight of course there are definitely have very many other ways that you know you need to also focus on to be able to gain weight and we'll put that down on the facebook page lastly emily asks can i mix chia seeds in brown porridge yes of course you can chia seeds actually are mixed in so many fluids in terms of our menus you know people put them in water some people put them in tea others put them in their smoothies so definitely you can also put it in a porridge um, but you might want to know before you do that that chia seeds absorb a lot of water when they you know get mixed in um, a fluid or in water so you'll have a very thick a thicker fluid um, so you might have a thicker porridge at the end of the day and you might have a more slimy porridge so if you're okay with those two characteristics then that is very okay mix your chia seeds in your brown porridge and have that uh, to go now the take of the week this is coming in from uh, Chirabo Bricks. It's a funny one, so this is going to be just to lift your spirits, uh, brighten your mood. Um, so we were asking on the Facebook page, when will, re when will you replace that carton and dirty kitchen cloth? Most of us have those kitchen clothes that we keep under there that are, you know, the ones that do all the dirty work, the scrubbing, the cleaning, table tops and all that. But when you look at them, they have holes, they are dirty, they are damp. Uh, so we're asking, when will you replace that? It's about time that you replace that. And Chirabo says, ha, huh, I think I'll replace it when it gets lost. Because that's what most of us do anyway. And that needs to change, you know, we need to be, uh, have clean clothes when we are cooking our food it should be clean but also the things that we use to cook this food or prepare this food and the places that we prepare it in should actually also be clean so be aware of that as well thank you Chirabo Brex that was very interesting wellness quote this I usually do because of course the show is ending and I need to leave you with something to you know go back with but also I really want for you to take this wellness quote uh, segment as something you know to keep in mind as you go through the week so that you are still thinking and living wellness um, so the, our wellness quote today is coming in from Felicity Lucky and she says we are what we repeatedly eat healthy eating is not an act but a habit so you can't say I eat healthy just because you ate one healthy meal 20 years ago or five months ago. That's not healthy eating. Healthy eating is something that you do perpetually. So, you know, you are trying as much as you can to make sure your meals in the day are more healthy than not. So healthy eating is a habit. It's actually a lifestyle. It's not just an one simple act and you say, ah, I ate healthy. I am also a healthy eater. You need to make it a habit, turn it into a lifestyle for yourself. 
So remember that you are what you repeatedly eat. What you repeatedly eat becomes your habit and then your lifestyle. Our show is done, Amanda is leaving and you are too, but that doesn't mean that, you know, you shouldn't keep in the spirit of wellness. Please remember to always uh, take wellness as an adventure and you'll experience the true goodness of, you know, living healthy, eating healthy. Uh, I guess until next time, I will see you. Thank you so much for being around. Bye bye.